And while all 16 people have been named, we can tell you investigators have not been able to find the remains of all 16 people. And you can imagine the hurt that is causing these victims' families. But the TBI is working diligently with some new technology to speed up that identification process. Chris Davis shows us how that technology is working. So when I started doing DNA testing, um, we were able to develop a profile from something the size of a quarter, and now we're able to develop a profile from something as small as uh, a speck of pepper. TBI agents Heather Lindsay and Riley Gray have both seen a lot of stunning advancements in forensic science but especially when it comes to the speed of DNA testing. And it uses the same chemistry that we use in the lab. The old process involved long drives back to the lab and slow processing times. Once the sample is back to the lab, uh, the quickest that we could process a single sample would be about eight hours. But using new rapid DNA technology, it now takes less than two hours. So what's the difference? For one, forensic scientists are able to work on site out of a trailer. We're able to develop profiles at a quick rate. With the AES explosion just a few hours after the tragedy, TBI agents started collecting genetic samples from surviving members of the victim's families. We would then do a cross comparison to those family standards uh, and that begins the reunification process. Faster results may not seem like a big deal, until you think about what it could mean for a family's funeral arrangements. We're just beginning to find closure. This is a phenomenal resource that we have not been able to provide for families in the past. The TBI actually got their first look at how this technology works through another heartbreaking tragedy that took place actually just a few miles up the road. It seriously was like a Somebody had it dammed up and then they just broke the dam. A torrent of water inundated Waverly back in 2021, killing 20 people and forever changing the small Tennessee town. Much like the explosion, the identification process was agonizing for the families of the victims of the flood. Almost essentially like a real life demo. Thankfully for the TBI, a private company brought out their new rapid DNA system. They actually came out and set up and brought out their own instruments. And that was when we were able to see exactly how the instruments were um, working. That encouraged the TBI to buy their own instruments. The system fully came online earlier this year. We can just roll up and be ready to go all hands on deck. And while no amount of technology can ever make this process less emotional for the families, at least it can speed up the agonizing wait. Certainly we hope to be able to provide some answers soon for families in situations like this. Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Answers are so important and the TBI stresses just because it is called rapid does not make it less accurate. As you heard, it is using the same chemistry as a traditional DNA test.